Welcome to video number three for Paint 3D. This video is going to show you how to use the 3D doodles. And again, a little bit more about stickers and then grouping some of your objects together. So we're going to make a tree and you're going to need to go to your 3D shapes and then scroll down until you see these doodles. Now you've got a a sharp edge doodle and you have a softer doodle. So I'm going to do the straight edge first and it's showing me how to do it. I see. Thanks. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make a tree trunk. Then once I end there, it's going to give me a tree trunk. And I'm going to go up to my oh, and you can see if you look at it, it's it's uh it won't be round like the other ones are, but we'll just keep it here and it won't be able to be able to tell it's kind of boxy. Okay, so let's go up here to stickers. And I've got some bark here. And so I'm just going to draw my bark. And I'm going to make it as wide as my bark is. And then I'll just uh, commit to it. I'm going to pull that down just a little bit. And later, if we have time, we might put some crust down there. So now I'm going to go back to my doodles. And I'm going to do my little softer doodle. And this time, I'm just going to make a tree. And you'll be able to tell that I have just amazing artistic abilities. And there it is. So let's go to stickers and put on a little hedge sticker. And when I look at this, it kind of looks like I should kind of rotate this around and have it go this way. And you're just going to fill it up. And then you're just going to click outside. And you can see that it's a pretty sad looking tree. Now right now this is in two pieces. We've got the top and we've got the bottom. So what we want to do is group this together. So you're going to click the top. And when you do that, you're going to get this selection that comes up. and you, you can either shift click the bottom part or you can click multi select and then select all the pieces that you want to select. And notice now you can see that the um, outline goes all the way around the whole tree. Then the next thing you need to do is group this. Once you group it, it's one piece and you'll be able to, you could copy and paste this if you wanted to, uh, you could flip it, all kinds of different things. And then at some point, if you want to make changes, you can ungroup it, and it will go back. I'm going to undo that so that stays in one group. So play around with that a little bit, and we'll come right back.